I have something against gay marriage. I don't support gay marriage. I think there is an onslaught right now in the courts to tear down traditional marriage. And I don't think it's right. And I, and I mentioned at the outset we're going to talk about proven records because everyone gives speeches. Let's talk about records in terms of defending traditional marriage. When I was the Solicitor General of Texas, the Chief Lawyer for the State of Texas in front of the U.S. Supreme Court, I was appointed by Greg Abbott, who is the finest Attorney General in all 50 states. When I was Solicitor General, my friend Kelly Shackelford called me and said, did you see what happened in Beaumont? Two men had gone to Vermont, had gotten a civil union, had come back to Beaumont, and had filed for a divorce. And the Beaumont State Court had granted a divorce. Now, the problem with that, if you're trying to build a legal strategy to tear down traditional marriage between one man and one woman, one of the ways you do it is you put all sorts of incidents of marriage in the record. So you can say, well, of course they can get married if they can get divorced. I went and sat down with Attorney General Greg Abbott, and General Abbott said, what can we do about it? Within 24 hours, we intervened in the proceedings to defend the marriage laws of the state of Texas. And within 24 hours, the district court vacated the divorce, and the case was non suited It's easy to talk about defending traditional marriage. It's easy to talk about wanting to cut taxes. It's easy to talk about defending life. The question we should ask of every candidate is, show me. Talk is so cheap. Every one of us has been burned by a candidate who sounds great on the stump and doesn't do it in office. And I do think there is a difference. I, I, want, to, I want to clarify something. Are you saying that Mayor Lambert was in favor of getting married? What I am saying is that when the mayor of a city chooses twice to march in a parade celebrating gay pride, that's a statement. It's not a statement I agree with. Mayor, I'm going to give you a Thank you. The mayor is against gay marriage. He believes that marriage, that marriage should be defined as one man and one woman. My job as mayor was to represent everybody in this city. I visited the groups that didn't agree with what I said. I talked to groups that I didn't agree with what they said. But it was my obligation to represent everybody. I engaged everybody and I will continue to do that. I will tell you my role as a Christian is to reach out and touch everybody. I wish I could have made stands only when I was in a courtroom, but I didn't. I was criticized time and time again for showing my faith and being open with it and standing pro-life. In fact, the Dallas Morning News criticized me for taking a position of pro-life. It was the right thing to do. I will continue to do it. But I did it when I put my neck on the line as a leader, standing up for what exactly was right. I was pro-life, unabashedly, and I said it. I am against gay marriage. I believe marriage should be defined as one man and one woman. It is very clear. But I had the responsibility to represent everybody, but everybody understood exactly where my faith was. If there's any question, you can see pastors like Robert Jeffers and David Dykes and those folks who don't understand me from the business standpoint, but they sure understand who I am, and they have stood unabashedly and endorsed me for this trip, for this office. Let me ask a question. Uh, Richard Thaler, New York Times on Sunday, said there are 1,000 times in the federal law where benefits are conferred on people because they are married. And he said, look, we don't have to uh, have gay marriage. If we want to treat people fairly, all we have to do is change the federal law so that civil unions and, 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 and partnerships and so forth formed at the state level qualify for those same benefits. Do you agree with that or not? I think right now in this country, our moral fiber is sliding down, down a slope that is going to be hard to stop if we don't stand up with leaders who don't go ride in gay parades. I can assure you, I will never ride in a gay parade. And I hear what you're saying, Tom, but leaders, our kids out there, people need to see examples. Now, I'm a guy that believes in a man and a woman being the greatest governance occurring in a home at night between a husband and a wife, Adam and Eve, and what the Bible says. And the backbone, and I know you're a Christian, 
I'm not doubting that, Tom. But man, you've got to stand up. If you are chosen as our senator, and be a leader and not do things like that. Because the character and the values of this country, we need examples for our kids. I have a follow-up question. And, and, do, you, do you think people choose to be gay? I think it's a choice. I do. Not a choice. I think that, that you have to make that choice. Absolutely. You do. I'm going to finish this up then. Same-sex marriage, if someone chooses to do that, then that's them. And, 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 and the Lord, God's going to judge each one of us in this room for our actions. But in that case right there, they're going to have to answer to the Lord for their actions. We should not give benefits to those civil unions. It should not occur. We have to stay strong on this. This is important, man. I'm telling you what, we have a fiscal issue in this country. We also have a moral issue in this country. And as Christians, we've got to stand up. I think what you'll see on the stage is pretty much explains why we have so many denominations in the church. Everyone kind of has a different perspective on what they think Christ would have done and how he would have acted. Now, I respect what Tom is saying, that he felt like he was to engage the entire community. I personally disagree with his approach, just because if there was a Republican club that was openly homosexual and they wanted to talk issues, any number of issues, I'm happy to go visit with them about the issues, but I'm not going to walk down the street with them celebrating what I believe to be a sin. And, but but I, I respect Tom's approach. Christ reached people in many different ways. He, it, the Pharisees hated him because he ate dinner with sinners. And Jesus said, I came, as a, the doctor doesn't come for the well, he comes for the sick. And we just have to, each one of us has to stand before God and make sure our heart is right with God about how we engage those who are living in sinful ways. Now, while he ate dinner with them, I don't believe he marched along with them as they were going down to have an orgy or have any sort of drunken revelries. But he, they came in his space and he engaged with them there. This is about a different perspective on how we engage people we believe are lost. And you just have to decide Mayor, I'm which one's better. Uh, 30 seconds and then we're going to move Go ahead. If you want it. Uh, I've addressed the issue. Okay, all right, let's move on. Um, Ted Cruz. Uh, there are an estimated 1.7 million illegal aliens in Texas, maybe a half a million in the Dallas Forward area alone. Um, if you could wave a magic wand and send them all home, would you do it? And if you did it, what do you think that would do to the economy of Texas? I think we have an illegal immigration crisis in Texas and in this country. 